problem, I am to graph the function f of x equals the sine of the quantity pi over 2 times x. Right here, what I have is the classic sine function where there's no amplitude change. So the number in front of the sine would be 1. So a is 1. And there's been no vertical shift. The graph hasn't been moved up or down. So you can think of that as you're adding 0. Now, normally, the uh, period of the sine function is 2 pi units. And the reason this is is in general the period for the sine or cosine, this doesn't work for tangent or cotangent, but the formula for the period of sine and cosine is 2 pi divided by b, where b is the coefficient on the x. So in this case, if b were 1, if you're just graphing y equals sine of 1x, the classic sine function, uh, by not putting a coefficient in front of the x, just sine x, b would be 1. And if you replace b with 1, you'd get the period of the sine function is 2 pi over 1, or 2 pi, and that's why the period of the sine and cosine function comes out to be 2 pi radians. Now in my example, uh, x is in radians. Why do I know that? Because they didn't state that x is in degrees, and if they don't state that x is in degrees, you are to assume that x is in radians. And you see here that they chose not to put an amplitude change, so a is 1, and there's no vertical shift. There's a plus 0 over here, nothing uh, being added or subtracted. But we do have a coefficient on the x besides 1, other than 1. In fact, my b value, the coefficient on x, is pi over 2. So to find the new period of the sine function, it's not going to be 2 pi units anymore. Uh, I replace b in this formula here with uh, this guy right here with pi over 2. Doing so, I get a complex fraction, 2 pi divided by pi over 2. So written out this way, you can think of 2 pi as being divided by 1, and all that's being divided by pi over 2. And math, when you're dividing two fractions, you change the division to multiplication here, and you flip or reciprocate the second fraction. So instead of pi over 2, I made it 2 over uh, pi. Now, what happens here is you have pi divided by pi, which is 1. And in math, you, you can simplify the number 1 by just not writing it. So if I canceled this pi and that pi to scratch them out, I'd be left with 2 times 2, or 4. Meaning, instead of the period of the sine function being 2 pi, or roughly a little bit bigger than 6 units, for it to do one cycle, it's going to be 4. So I'm going to graph this thing, so instead of it taking 6, a little more than 6 units to do its thing, it's going to do it in 4 units. So I, I, I dare do this in... Uh, you know, with my mouse, but the idea is it's going to cross the x-axis at 0, 2, and 4 instead of 0, 3, and 6. Now, to get that to happen in math, the s may be a little tricky. So, with the sine function, you can, uh, you can click either of these icons, but for some reason, I prefer the second. Uh, so, I'm going to click at the origin because there's been no vertical shift, no, no movement up and down. The sine function is going to start at the origin. Let me clean that up a little bit. I hate that. Uh, and I'm going to click and hold down the mouse button. And my amplitude is going to be 1, so no change there. It goes as high as 1 and as low as negative 1. Now, if I leave it at this, uh, by just randomly doing this, what I've done is I've got the sine function having the period of about 2 and 3 quarters right here. The graph goes up, hits the x-axis, goes down, hits the x-axis. And the second time it hits that x-axis is at, uh, between 2 and 3. We don't want that. We want the period to be 4. So what I'm going to do is grab this guy over here, move it to the right, so that I see that that second x-intercept is at about 4. By doing so, that oftentimes messes up other things on the graph. So before you submit your answer in Math AS, make sure that you have everything correct. Starts at the origin, goes as high as 1, as low as negative 1, so that's amplitude 1. No vertical shifts. Uh, and it looks like the sine function, right? Starts at the origin, does this kind of thing. And if you look at it, it takes four units. From here, x equals 0 to x equals 4. It takes four units for the sine function to do its thing. Uh, if I submit my answer, uh, you're not seeing it, but I get uh, 1 out of 1. Now, if I was to move this bar down, the reason I didn't do that to show you is this this thing that MathAS uses has this weird thing that it puts another graph on there. And then if you do that and submit it, uh, you, of course, wouldn't get the answer. Uh, so at any rate, hopefully uh, that helps.